Alright, so now that Microsoft has acquired Blizzard, which means they acquired Overwatch and all their other franchises, as well as their new survival game that Blizzard just announced, I think, no more than two days ago. And they haven't acquired Blizzard just yet, they still have a ton of paperwork, but we're gonna get into what's next for Overwatch. We do have the seasonal event for the new year uh, right now in Overwatch, uh, all the events will continue. Uh, but before we get into the video, definitely check out the Discord, definitely uh, go ahead and follow on Twitch, because I do stream over there, and uh, definitely follow me on Twitter, because uh, I be tweeting, man. I got Twitter fingers. I got lost in a world All right, so sometime this week, the producer, Tracy Kennedy, did end up blaming Bobby Kodak for a lot of the setbacks that happened in Overwatch 2. He'd be blamed for a lot of the setbacks that are still happening. Seems like when one thing would be completed, Bobby would then ask the team to switch things up or certain things would just be pulled out even after all the work would be, would be, would be done and then other things would be put in just to get pulled out. Um, and he could never actually decisive when it came to certain things for Overwatch 2, as well as some of other, other uh, Blizzard games as well. The issue is, if you have a CEO who's the head of everything else within the company and they can't really decide on one thing besides what to put in the latest Call of Duty market, uh, that's a huge issue and that will cause a lot of problems for the development of a game, especially a game as big and as popular as Overwatch. I'm not sure if Blizzard is going to be in the mood or Bobby's in the mood to really nuke their their branding or their um, goodwill that they still have, some goodwill that they still have left, especially with this Microsoft acquisition, because it seems that Overwatch League's Overwatch 2 test or Overwatch uh, League getting first access to Overwatch 2 still seems to be a thing, which is incredibly weird, like I said before, because uh, you would think a beta would come out before uh, Overwatch League really uh, gets their hands on the game to play for the season, and that that's that blows my mind. Actually, it's like it's straight peen. The thing that confuses me to no end is the lack of transparency from Blizzard at all when it comes to any of the progression of their games because they love to keep secrets and show things until they feel like it's necessary to show them on like a huge stage or, or something like that um as we know blizzcon designer wyatt chang blizzcon we want to use mobile devices as the platform for a new diablo game because nothing brings a family together like slaying demons. Uh, we don't have any plans at the moment to do a uh, PC. Do you guys not have phones? Yeah, you guys yeah, all have phones, phone. right? The whole view when it comes to, to putting out updates on their games is so prehistoric and like old that it's just like, have you not learned from any other companies that have been way transparent with their progression and development of their games? Just talk about it. And yet they still think it's okay just to be secretive when it comes to anything they make and then announce it. Um at a stage where you don't know what the reaction is going to be as we've seen from Diablo Immortal and it just it's really 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 sad man um the best thing that can happen and and still is happening is this acquisition from Microsoft where i think a lot of the the approach or approaches that Blizzard has when it comes to giving updates on their games will get thrown out the window. The sad thing is with Overwatch League getting their hands on Overwatch 2 first, from what it seems, that still seems to be the case. We're going back to only watch and that really, really irritates me because if you were around when Overwatch first got announced and then like released as like a beta, you could only really watch it because you had to get like a special drop and no, not everybody got that drop. So I'd say probably about 70% of the community Community was just stuck watching streamers play Overwatch for the first time, and that was so just, it, it was very irritating. It was like, yeah, you had to be there. As far as we know, we're not expected to receive any major updates on Overwatch 2 just yet. I'm assuming that may change within possibly the next two to three months, but it's all a guessing game because as far as we know for now, the next time we see Overwatch 2 will be in the Overwatch League. But anyway, guys, definitely comment, like, subscribe, tell me your thoughts. Don't forget to slay some demons. All right, guys, till next time. Yo, thank you, man. Appreciate it, guys. Have a good day.